Well, I'd like to um, say I'm pleased to be here and I'm really glad that you're here. I want to talk a little bit about who we are. Because I think the coherency of our future depends upon us knowing who we are. And I mean truly understanding who we are. So I want to go to who we are. See, we're the human beings. And it's very important because we all know how to say the words. We know the terms. I know we know the terms because they taught them to us. They programmed this to us. And the, 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 the words, human beings, human beings. But our relationship to reality, to reality is in that definition. So human, the bone, flesh, and blood, the DNA of the human, the bone, flesh, and blood is literally made up of the metals, minerals, and liquids of the earth. So we are parts of the earth, we are shapes of the earth, we're forms of the earth, this is the form that we are. All of the things of the earth have the same DNA as the human does. Everything of the earth has the same DNA as the human. Everything is made up of the metals, minerals, and liquids of the earth, but the shape is just different. And the purpose is different. And being, we have being. That's our essence, that's our spirit. That's our spirit. And all of the things of the earth have the same DNA as the human has, so all the things of the earth have being. Spirit. 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 And our relationship to power and reality is in that understanding of who we are. We are forms of the earth, and that's reality. Nothing will ever change that reality. What has changed is our perceptional <laughs> relationship to reality. And what has happened to us through the millennium and through this whole technologic perception of reality, what has happened to the human being. Is that, to me, it's like a disease in one way. It's like this thing just kind of spreads. And as it diseases the spirit of the people, it affects the perception of reality. So in one way, it's kind of like that. It's like a possession. But in another way, it's almost like a mechanical thing, this mining process that takes place. Mining process that takes place. And it's almost like this thing that they call technologic civilization. See, it's predatory upon our lives. Anybody ever feel something's missing from their life? like purpose or understanding or self-worth or self, whatever the deal is, they're mining us, <laughs> all right? They're mining us. And one of, the, one of the objectives of this whole technologic, civilized, perceptional reality, you know, reality, reality has got to do with erasing the memories of the human beings because we have a common collective experience. We are all the descendants of tribes. Back in the time of the original dream, see, we were all tribes and we were all the earth's children and we all knew that the earth was our mother and that we were a part of a spiritual reality, see, because we had being, we understood that there was a spiritual reality and we were physical in a spiritual reality. We being who we are today, however we landed in this reality, whoever we are today, we carry the genetic experience of our lineage from the very beginning. It's encoded in the DNA. It's like a genetic memory. Something about the experience of the journey. We have it in us, it's like. But anyway, within our genetic memories, within our genetic memories, somewhere hidden in there, we all come from a people. Every one of us comes from a people that understood that we lived in a spiritual reality. And because we lived in a spiritual reality, every one of our beginning ancestral peoples understood that life was about responsibility. So we were responsible for the past and the future as well as the present. And we understood that all things had being. So we knew who we were, we understood what we were saying, and we knew where we were, we knew our purpose. And this reality lives in our genetic memory because see as human beings whoever we are the individuals we are now that experience is there it's at 90 percent of the brain to tell us we can't use <laughs> so they're using it <laughs> we all understand that in this technologic reality that we live this technologic dimensional reality that we live in we understand that they can take the dna of the earth that is called uranium in that shape and form so they can take that dna of the earth that is uranium and it has being, spirit, 
and they can take it from the earth and they put it through a mining refinement process and convert the being part of that uranium into a form of energy, electrical energy, that they call power. And in a way it is power, but, but in reality it's a mutated form of power. And after they do this kind of a process, then, then we, under, you know, we know that there's toxic waste and that there's poison left over from it. And we know they do it with fossils. Take that old dinosaur DNA and put it through the mining refining process and convert the being of that DNA into a form of energy that runs, again, another electrical system. And that also leaves behind its pollutions and its things. See, so I think that they're doing it to us. Because we come from the same reality, we're made up of the same thing. Our shape is different. That's all. Our shape and our function is different because our shape is different. But you come down to the genetic makeup of all of it, or the majority of water, but water has metals in it and it has minerals in it. See, but I think as a part of that reality, see, that we're being mined, the being part of human is being mined. It's being mined by a perception of reality. And the people who enforce that perception of reality by indoctrinating it into every generation of human beings that is born. See, so, to me, one of the purposes of this technologic perceptional civilization is that we are the fuel that runs it. And the poison, the toxic that is left over from the mining of the being part of human through the human, through the intelligence of the human. All right, all the fears and doubts and insecurities that, that we have in our lives within our own personal reality about who we are, the things that others don't see, that's the pollution and the toxic left over from the mining of the being part of human. That's the pollution that's left over, see, because in that kind of a haze, see, we don't see ourselves clearly. We do not see and recognize clearly who we are, and we're never encouraged to. We're encouraged to be good citizens or good this religion or good that religion or good, you know, good workers, good... <laughs> yeah. But we're never encouraged to be real about human beings. human beings. In a way, we're never really encouraged to be good to ourselves. To ourselves.